Welcome to the Holistic Review and Nursing Workshop. We're excited that you'll be joining us and look forward to working with you and your colleagues. This workshop is being co-hosted by the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, the Coalition of Urban Serving Universities, Association of Public and Land Grant Universities, and the Association of American Medical Colleges, with funding from the Health Resources and Services Administration. This workshop is a pilot project to evaluate training and resources for nursing deans interested in leading their school's transition to holistic admissions. It is the first of its kind and builds upon prior workshops conducted by the AAMC for medical schools and the ADEA for dental schools. Nursing is very different from these professions and has its own unique needs. We hope that this workshop will be the first step toward developing a novel framework for holistic admissions training within the field of nursing. Wherever you are on your holistic review journey, we want to hear from you and learn about your school's mission, diversity needs, and challenges that you are facing with the admissions process. Diversity in nursing continues to lag. According to recent data from AACN, less than 25% of enrolled undergraduate nursing students and enrolled master's students are from underrepresented groups. These disparities are concerning because research shows that a diverse nursing workforce is essential for achieving health equity. The healthcare workforce strives to meet our nation's many healthcare needs as comprehensively as possible by providing quality, compassionate, patient-centered care that will effectively reach all populations throughout the United States. The challenges to developing a nursing workforce that reflects and can offer quality care for our complex and richly diverse nation are considerable. As we all know, policy questions regarding health care reform loom large. Too many individuals remain underserved or unserved, and the American population is rapidly aging and becoming more diverse. A recent report from Urban Universities for Health on holistic admissions in the health professions found that less than half of nursing schools surveyed say they are currently using holistic review. The practice is much more common among dental and medical schools. The charge to nursing schools is complicated by an educational continuum that is in flux. Examples include the challenges to providing access to educational opportunities for aspiring nurses, the move toward competency-based education, emerging biomedical technologies and scientific advances, evolving curricula to address changes in healthcare delivery and patient needs, and rising student debt. Nurses with Bachelor of Science in Nursing, or BSN, degrees are prized for their skills in critical thinking, leadership, case management, and health promotion, and for their ability to practice in both inpatient and outpatient settings. The Institute of Medicine is calling for at least 80% of RNs to be baccalaureate prepared by 2020. This evidence-based recommendation recognizes that patient needs have become more complicated and that nurses must attain the requisite competencies needed to deliver high-quality care. Employers are recognizing that education makes a difference, and they are moving to hire the best educated nurses possible. Data collected by the AACN show that 79% of employers are now requiring or expressing a strong preference for nurses with a bachelor's degree. At this point, you may be feeling overwhelmed. Addressing these issues is daunting, but there are important opportunities at hand. You may also be asking yourself, what does this have to do with student admissions? The admissions office is an essential access point, a critical door to a nursing school education and the practice of nursing. You and your colleagues are therefore uniquely positioned to help shape the nursing workforce. The decisions you make about who attends your nursing school influences who becomes a nurse and who does not. Those of you who oversee and participate in the admissions process hold the keys. This is a powerful and influential role that relies on your perceptions, admissions processes, related practices, and underlying policies. The selection criteria that you apply determine who will be granted the opportunity to become a professional nurse. Will the applicants you choose to accept become the students you want to become part of your learning communities? Will they become the compassionate, patient-centered, 
and confident nurses that everyone, regardless of background, is seeking for themselves and their families? Will they be able, both as individuals and a group, to achieve the mission and goals of your school and provide culturally sensitive care to patients and families they encounter? Will they be able to help reduce health care disparities and meet current and future health care challenges? And will they be committed to meeting the health care needs of the diverse populations of your community, state, and nation? These are the very questions a holistic admissions process can help address. In professional practice, nurses must provide culturally competent and sensitive care. Nurses' behavior should demonstrate an understanding of the ways cultural, racial, and socioeconomic lifestyles are expressed and how these influence the nurse-patient interaction. As AACN President and CEO Deb Troutman has mentioned, if providing culturally competent care is a goal we can all support, then diversifying the pipeline of nursing students into baccalaureate and higher degree programs must be a national priority. Emphasis must be placed on recruiting more students from diverse backgrounds into nursing, particularly at advanced levels, to ensure that these individuals have a full voice in shaping the future of the nursing profession as leaders, mentors, and role models. What then do we mean by holistic review? Holistic review is a flexible, individualized way of assessing an applicant's capabilities by which balanced consideration is given to the applicant's experiences, attributes, and academic metrics. It is designed to help universities consider a broad range of factors reflecting the applicant's academic readiness, contribution to the incoming class, and potential for success both in school and later as a professional. Holistic review, when used in combination with a variety of other mission-based practices, constitutes a holistic admissions A holistic admissions process integrates core principles at every stage, from screening to selection, and facilitates identifying a broadly diverse student body that contributes to an enhanced learning environment for all students and a better prepared nursing workforce. In a holistic admission process, you should be able to draw a straight line between your school's unique mission and the applicant criteria your school uses to screen, interview, and select the students you want to educate and the nurses you want to graduate. What is the case for having a diverse workforce? Growing health workforce shortages, a rapidly diversifying patient population, and a changing healthcare system have created new challenges for preparing enough nurses with the right combination of skills, qualities, and experiences to address the health needs of diverse communities. A more diverse health professional workforce has also been shown to increase patient satisfaction and trust. Diversity in the learning environment is critically important for creating this workforce. As Dr. Greer Glazer writes, all students benefit from being exposed to different experiences, cultures, and perspectives during the educational process. Evidence shows that diverse teams outperform homogeneous ones and develop more innovative solutions to problems. As a driver of excellence, diversity in its broadest sense is one step to achieving health equity. We want to be clear that while diversity includes race, ethnicity, and gender, it doesn't stop there. It is a complex, multidimensional concept that considers the arrays of experiences and attributes as well as the academic achievements and readiness of nursing school applicants. The admissions process is also an opportunity to look for other non-cognitive characteristics that determine success in nursing school. These include realistic self-appraisal, leadership experience, preferences for long-term goals, and other factors that contribute to a student's positive self-concept. The purpose of this workshop is to provide you with the time, space, and structure to think critically about your admissions processes and how they align with your school's mission and goals. We also want to provide an open forum for you to learn from your peers and discuss nursing-specific issues that impact implementation of holistic review. Through a structured sequence of collaborative, hands-on discussions and activities, this workshop engages participants in thinking critically and strategically about the school's admissions process and identifying opportunities to improve policies, procedures, and practices using the Holistic Review Framework. By the end of this workshop, 
participants will be able to articulate the importance of diversity, describe the holistic review admissions process, identify two or three admissions practices that could be modified or implemented upon return to campus, and develop one to three SMART goals to initiate stakeholder engagement on campus. Participants will leave with a set of resources for initiating the change process at their respective institutions. As a benefit of participation, you will have access to an online collaboration community of your peers, where you can share information, discuss challenges, and learn from other nursing deans who have made progress toward holistic review at their school. The online collaboration community also includes a knowledge base of resources, including this PowerPoint, the workshop materials, and legal guidelines that will be helpful to you as you discuss changes to admissions policies on your campus. To maximize the value of this workshop for you, we have asked you to complete an assessment of your institution's current admissions practices and collect basic data on admissions outcomes for your most recent class. We ask that you bring your data and assessment results with you to the workshop as you will refer to them often during the activities. We also ask that you come prepared with an open mind and a willingness to actively engage with your peers around these important issues. All questions are welcome and innovative solutions that emerge will be captured and shared with the group. We hope that you will leave with new ideas and next steps for translating what you learned into action. For our part, we will seek to provide a workshop environment that is supportive, positive, and stimulates collaboration. We want to reduce or eliminate distractions and ensure that you have an enjoyable and effective experience. Between now and the workshop, we suggest you consider three questions. How does your school's mission manifested in your school's admissions processes and practices? What role does your school's diversity interests play in admissions? And what are the admissions offices or admissions committees mission-driven determinants of success? In other words, how do you know that your admissions outcomes are meeting your school's mission and goals? Thank you for your time today, and we look forward to our continued collaboration.